In this unit I want to talk about rafter cut profiles. So if we select this roof that we've already produced and we look at the instance parameters, one of the parameters down there or the properties is called rafter cut. Now if you click in the little drop down menu there are only three options plum cut, two cut plum and two cut square. There is also an associated parameter fascia depth that works with a couple of those options there. So as I say, I'm going to explain what those three options are and how they work in this unit. The default setting for rafter cut is plum cut. Now the easiest way to explain these different settings is to have a look in a section view. So if I switch to a plan, I've created a section through the roof here. I can just switch that section view now. So here is our external wall with the roof coming down and the 500 mil overhang. Let's select the roof again. So currently our roof is set to be plum cut with regards to the rafter cut profile. Now plum cut basically means it comes down to where the boundary line is in plan and then the roof is just cut off vertically, hence the term plumb. So in this case, the fascia depth is whatever that distance happens to be to cut vertically down through the layer buildup. So it won't be the same as the total of the layer thicknesses because you would measure that perpendicular to the layers there. But if you put the roof in at the slope we've set and you cut it plumb or vertically down, then that is what the fascia depth happens to be. As you can see, it then just returned around the edge of the roof. If we switch the rafter cut profile to two cut plumb, now at first glance, this is very strange, and that's because we haven't put a value in the fascia depth property. You can see now we've switched from the default plumb cut to two cut plumb the fascia depth property below becomes active and we can now stipulate a specific depth of fascia we want. So let's go for 250 mil, apply that. So we have now specified this fascia to be 250 mil vertical depth and then at the bottom of that to just return and cut off. You can see now it's just truncating through the remaining layers there at the bottom of the roof. So it's not going down to meet the bottom layer, it's just going down the specified distance as defined in fascia depth and then returning. Hence the term two cut plumb. The roof has been cut twice once and then the second time horizontally and it's been cut plumb, so vertically there at the distance we've specified in the parameter below. If we switch to the third option, two cut square, Again, the fascia depth property comes into play. Again, two cuts. First one there, perpendicular to the slope of the roof at the distance specified in fascia depth. So that distance there will be 250 mil. Comes down and then the second cut horizontally to return back against the building. And if I just switch to a 3D view, give you a, a flavor of what that looks like in terms of the geometry. You can see there the fascia clearly perpendicular to the roof slope and then returning underneath. This tutorial is taken from the Revit Roofs Masterclass online training course. For the full itinerary detailing everything that's covered in this course please visit bimscape.com forward slash courses.